Hello everyone, my name is Parshuram. Welcome to Rashi Learn. Uh, in this episode, uh, we'll be doing a bit of theory of music uh, relating to guitar. Uh, since the time I've started doing all the video lessons, uh, uh, there have been a lot of requests uh, from students and from the people. Uh, they, they wanted to know more of the theory, you know, how the notes are structured on the fingerboard and how do I come across the chords and the bar chord positions, open chord positions and uh, what do you mean by the term scales and how do you play the scales on the fingerboard and on uh, different positions on the fingerboard. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll uh, take you through a bit of theory in this episode and going further we'll be having some video lessons on uh, understanding the different notations in music, uh, how do we apply them to guitar and uh, uh, all these things. So in this first episode uh, we'll be doing the theory on understanding the names of the open strings. So we'll start with the names of uh, the open strings starting from string number one. Now the first string is note E. Second string is note B. The third string is note G. Fourth string is note D. Fifth string is note A. And the sixth string is note 6. We have string number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The importance of knowing the names of open strings. All the notes that you find on the fingerboard are uh, the, on the basis of the open strings. Now the first string, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the sixth string that's the open strings. They are the starting points for all the notes on each individual string. They are the starting points for all the notes on each individual string. First, let's look at how the strings are numbered. Now, the first string is E string. That's E string. Second string is B string. Third string is G string. Fourth is D string, fifth is A string, and the sixth is E string. If you observe this and this, there's a first and the sixth, both are E's. This is high E and the other one is a lower E. Again, just to reiterate, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The strings are named E, B, G, D, A, E. E, B, G, D, A, E. You have to memorize the names of the open strings before you start playing anything on the guitar. For students, uh, for people who don't know how to tune the guitar, it's very important that you use a digital tuner. For Obviously for people who know how to play the chords and uh, have been playing guitar uh, since a long time, uh, you can obviously use the ear training technique and you don't have to use a digital tuner. But uh, in which ways you need to know the names of the open strings. Until unless you know that, you won't be able to tune the guitars. So it's very important that you know the names of the open strings. So I just want to repeat it again. Uh, six open strings, E, B, G, D, A, and E. E, B, G, D, A, E. Uh, it is important that you memorize all these notes on the guitar, uh, the open string names, uh, as this will help you to play uh, the cause you will understand how the chords are structured, how do you play the different scales and it will also uh, help you in other aspects of guitar playing. That was the lesson on uh, understanding the names of the open strings. Uh, hope you like the video. Uh, keep watching for more of these theory lessons. Take care. Bye bye.